What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If not, just uh, hit the like button. Today, I wanna go out vlogging with the most basic setup. So I'm choosing my Canon 90D on the Javi Gorilla Pod 5K. The audio would be from the Rode Video Micro. And I will use only one lens, the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeters. Here it is. And I'm gonna shoot everything with it, like speaking parts and B-rolls. Everything would be handheld. I'm not gonna bring my gimbal. But why have I chosen the Canon 90D over the Canon EOS R for this vlog? Well, I'm gonna tell you. The weather today is not the best, but it could be worse. How? It could be raining. Usually raining. Not much, just a little bit. So for the moment, no problem at all. I can continue. I'm just gonna take a walk. So, why did I bring the Canon 90D with the 10 to 18 millimeters instead of the Canon M50 or the Canon EOS R? Not the M50, because I'm sorry to say, don't get me wrong, it's a great camera, but the 90D and the EOS R are better. So, why the 90D over the EOS R for vlogging, at least for now? Provided that they're both awesome cameras, but they're different, really different. In order to shoot a vlog, I need a wide-angle lens. And what I have right now is this Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeters, which works both on the Canon 90D without the need of any adapter and on the Canon EOS R with the adapter. But the thing is, even though I really love the colors I can squeeze out of the Canon EOS R, and I love this lens, I'm still choosing to use it with the Canon 90D for vlogging. Why? First of all, because it's wide <laughs> and on the Canon 90D, it looks awesome. It's an EFS lens. So when you use it on the Canon EOS R, it doesn't give any additional crop, so it's the same. And why do I still prefer to use it on the Canon 90D? Uh, in the meantime, it started to rain a little bit harder, so I stopped here under a tree for shelter. Why am I using it on the Canon 90D instead of the Canon EOS R? This lens, this 10 to 18 millimeters EFS. Well, because I can shoot in 4K without any additional crop. Wait a minute. But also if I use it on the Canon EOS R, I don't have any additional crop. That's a fact that when you use an EFS lens on the Canon EOS R, you just get the 1.6 crop for being the lens meant for crop sensor cameras. So. Even if you tune 4K, no additional crop on the 90D, no additional crop on the EOS R. So, why do I still prefer to use it for vlogging on the Canon 90D? Well, there's this thing when you use an EFS lens on the Canon EOS R. Everything works. Well, almost. Because when you use an EFS lens, a Canon EFS lens on the Canon EOS R with the adapter, you lose the ability to shoot in 60 and 120 frames per second. What does it mean? That sucks. 
just one second um, man you can't see it from the camera I think but I guarantee you it's raining I've just done something that should never be done so don't do it I just cleaned my lens with my hoodie don't, don't ever do that it's bad but this was just an emergency when you don't have the ability to shoot in 60 or 120 frames per second you can't make b-rolls or at least not the way I do b-rolls because I love slow motion 60 frames per second is barely enough and 120 frames per second is good and even though with a Canon EOS R uh, when you're shooting 120 frames per second it's in 720 but I have to admit it's a pretty good quality 720p but all right with this lens and the adapter you don't have the ability to shoot in 60 or 120 frames per second so just slow motion with the Canon EOS R in this lens just forget about it and this is the reason why I'm using the Canon 90D with this lens because I can literally do it all I mean if I was using the Canon EOS R of course I could bring this lens and do the vlogging part like speaking part with the 10 to 18 millimeters and then use a 50 or 24 or 85 whatever the 7200 for b-rolls but what if I can't or I don't want to carry any other lens well then this is the perfect setup ah and by the way take a look at the links down below to see all my gear stuff and things including this camera this lens the EOS R the M50 and all my gear and stuff my gear oh man well there's nobody around I guess I can take it off for a while and I was saying that since you're there hit the like button smash it right now and subscribe if you haven't already and check the link to epidemic sound and you can have one month of awesome music and sound effects to use in your videos for free all right so here it is, the reason why I'm using the Canon 90D with this EFS 10 to 18 millimeters. Because I can do anything with it, whatever I want right now. Only with this lens. Right now I set it to like 18 millimeters, which corresponds to uh, 28, 28.8, kind of like 29. So it's, it's not really bad, you know? I mean, you don't get, you don't get a really shallow depth of field you don't but if you're vlogging it looks decent it's pretty good and when you shoot b-rolls it's like amazing have you seen the video where I show that you can make it look like a drone like a drone taking off or landing or whatever I mean, using the lens that's so wide opens up to a host of possibilities. You can do so much with it. Like, as you can see, for vlogging, it's like perfect. No problem at all. Just the depth of field thing that, but if you're vlogging, you want to show, you want almost everything to be in function. And still, I mean, it's better than a GoPro, right? <laughs> it's not like everything in focus. So you can make it look a little bit cinematic. So it depends. You see the trees over there, even though the aperture is f5.6 right now, it's not bad. There is some depth of field. Like this, it's open wide. And like this, at 18 millimeters, like 28 ish on full frame. It just gets a little darker though. keeps raining it's not getting any better I guess I'm going home to wrap it up and again check the links down below to see all my gear stuff and things and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already uh, I better go Man, it started to rain so hard. I didn't want the camera and the lens to be damaged and I just ran home. <laughs> but the point of this video is, 
why did I choose the Canon 90D over the Canon EOS R for vlogging with only one lens? Well, I think you already understood the answer, is that even though I can do almost the same things with the EOS R and the 90D, when I use EFS lenses with the Canon EOS R, I, I can't do slow motion because I can't do 60 or 120 frames per second with it. The options are disabled. And this I think happens with Canon lenses only, Canon EFS lenses, because I believe there are other lenses made for crop sensor cameras, like for Canon, like Tokina or Sigma, they do work in 60 and 120 frames per second with the EOS R. But since I own the 10 to 18 millimeters and I have the Canon 90D and the Canon EOS R, if I use it on the Canon 90D, I can do everything with it. And I don't even need any adapter. I don't lose any functionality. So I can shoot also slow motion, as you have probably noticed in this video and many others. If I wanted to use one lens only for the Canon EOS R, well, I should definitely use the RF 15 to 35 millimeters or the 16 to 35 millimeters with the adapter. But since I don't own these lenses, I have to make things do with the gear I have. And in this case, the 90D solved all my problems because I was able to shoot the entire video with this setup. No other lens, no gimbal, nothing. Because I also, the 10 to 18 millimeters, it's stabilized. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button right now, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.